Hello and welcome back everybody. Happy February. It's now February 1st. So as always with the start of every month, we are going to have a new notice for the rest of the month. And oh boy, do we have some stuff to talk about here. So before I do continue any further, hopefully you do end up enjoying this video. And do feel free to subscribe uh, for more content. I do actually have some videos properly lined up. So I'll be consistent for about a week or two, give or take. But without further ado, let us just jump right into this video. So as we know, the Blood That Binds Invasion event is currently live. Um, the wind prints, uh, you definitely should, uh, pick up, uh, they're all, uh, pretty solid, and they do, and I know at least some of them have higher might than, than regular wind prints, so they could be really good for some, um, might building, so I would definitely recommend you try to pick them up, if at all possible. Uh, and we also have Gala Mile that has, uh, now officially released. I do, I did actually test him, I recorded that. Uh, this will be a video soon. Don't you worry about that. This will be a video soon. So, what else do we have for February? Yes, we got this. So we have Valix, Forrest, and Michael appearing on a prize showcase on the 4th of February. And we'll be getting inf information in about two days. Holy shit, it's finally happening. Alright, so first of all, we're finally getting Michael, and we're getting the final two siblings, with with, Oz, with obviously the exception of Medric. We'll, we'll get to him eventually when we get to him, but finally, we are wrapping up on quite a bit of adventures that, that kind of need actual adventurers. So this is, this is very good. This is very, very good, and also, I'm glad I'm finally in the game. <laughs> Had to drop the joke. Had to drop the joke. Uh, also, um, Flame and Light Attuned Surter Trials of the Mighty. Uh, we already know this. This is coming with Galasaris, which will drop tomorrow. Uh, you can Omnicide her now. And Galazena will also be dropping the week after. So very, very good stuff. Galasaris Spiral is really damn strong, just like I did predict in the video. Um, I will not be doing a video on her, mainly because... I don't need to work her up because Flame is already just dumb good. Zena, I'm I have high hopes for, so hopefully she does turn out to be good. And and we do have a Romance Under Siege Valentine's event that will be rerunning on the 14th. So hopefully what this means is that we will be getting these guys added to the general pool, just like how Valentine's Hildegard uh, and Prometheus at the least of uh, the. There could be one or two more, I'm just not remembering right now. But they were added to the general pool whenever toward the end of uh, their time, which is like a year or so. So hopefully that means that Chelsea will be added to the general pool. Treasure, she is a pretty damn strong um, um, wind adventurer, but she does fall off a little bit in the hilly content. But, but she is still really damn powerful. And this could also mean that monster energy over here we could see some essences come out for him in the future so pretty damn nice stuff this is important here all right so a new adventurer will make their debut in a summon showcase in mid-february they have appeared in game before but never as a potential addition for your roster until now i hope you're excited to see what what they can bring to your team so it's someone we've seen in game. All right, that's all we know. Now there are speculations out there. I know a bunch of people want Nina. Um, I wouldn't mind about anybody, honestly, because it's most likely going to be a skip anyways, unless if it's like a twin situation, to as of where they break an element. That would be the only thing that would that would make me summon on this on this type of banner. And, and the same thing also applies for this. They would have to be like absolutely broken and reshape the entire element in order for me to actually go in on them. That's like the only thing. Beyond that, this is this is nice, but it probably won't keep my attention. I'm also expecting Gatab's daughter to be an option for this because because as we know, main main campaign chapter 24 part 1, that is going to involve the homeland of Gatav and 
and uh, Sheila. That's her name. So maybe we could get an adventure of Sheila in time for for more backstory re revolving around Gitav and Sheila. But who knows? That's what I'm expecting. That that's what I'm hoping for. And also, the main campaign will be added on the 17th of February. So that is that. That's as always nice. And this will also start to lead up to Promo Br Brunhilde release as well. I do expect them to to have Mim have some form of importance at the least for part two of this. So that will be something to see. All right. And also, um, j just as it was uh, announced uh, last month, we will be having. Iblis, Surge, and Cascade Legend difficulty being added at the end of February. So do prepare your light teams and prepare your wind teams. Wind already does have their um, primal weapons, and and with this, this will be the last endgame content for wind until we get primal mercury. That is so yay. Legend is about to end out for Wind, and hopefully Mercury, it will be not bad at all, because we already have their Prime Weapons. But Light is definitely going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. I I feel like I need to revamp my Light team a little bit, but that's something I'll need to do a little bit further research on for this stage. And moving on down, uh, we do know uh, the Dragon's getting faster Star Unbinds. We're getting Apollo, Styx... Pazuzu, Core Saint Phoenix, and Epimetheus. Oh boy, so lots of Punishers. This could potentially be good. And Sticks. Sticks, I need to see. All right, like Sticks is absolutely terrible. All right, need to see Sticks. Need to see how that will work. I'll probably pre-make a thumbnail for Sticks because hey, I I like Sticks' design. It's a really damn good design, all right? Too bad it sucks. And uh, and now to just kind of round out this, um, um, Housekeeper Pia will be arriving in late February. This will more likely be the Valentine's event because like a little uh, Cupid bow. This is like a toy though, like seriously. This is like, this is like a, a toy bow. Another venture in the new outfit will make their debut alongside her, so I hope you're looking forward to learning more once the event notification is posted. So these, so this is going to be the the third the third year era Valentine's units. It's going to be Pia combined with someone else. And with Pia, this will be the last known unit we know from the previous digest. So, so once when she comes. We're going to have to wait for the next digest in order to have potential outlooks on the next few units. But I'm excited. Um, I think uh, she she looks to be like either a wind bow or a water bow. Regardless, she's definitely going to be a bow unit. I don't. Um, we don't have too many good bow units, uh, with the exception of Cyrus now, obviously. But hopefully, she does end up becoming pretty solid. And, we're, and also, we're going to be reminded of Prama Brunhilde's trial will join in late March. So, as always with this, start to prepare your water teams. A mile is going to be a very solid addition. Not needed more than likely, but he's going to be really, really solid. And, and hopefully, we will have water combo equals Dragon Gauge before this drops because that will be a near must summon for this especially with someone as broken as Ciela existing this is going to have to happen and on that note that is it for anything new coming in this month and in your present box you will get three summon vouchers and 30 million rupees oh boy so this is quite the lots of adventures lots of adventurers I think this is what like like three new general pools which which I don't know the last time we've had that many because I feel like most of it nowadays is just reruns and like one maybe two per month so the fact that we're getting three and two valentine's ults that's quite a lot we are getting our hands on so definitely keep keep uh, your waltz in check all right especially because we're this close to 3.5 annie Definitely keep your wallets in check because 
I have a feeling they're definitely going to drop some bombshells here. Absolute bombshells. But I have nothing else to really say. Um, I'm just average month um, content wise beyond that. So nothing I'm like overly excited for. Maybe, maybe Gal Zen at most. I'm excited for her Gal Zena stuff because she needs, she needs to be good again. All right. Make Zena. I, I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to say it now. <laughs> Just make Zena good. All right. Make Zena good. And on that note, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow where I don't know what I'm going to upload, but I'm definitely going to upload something. I'll see you all then. Bye.